Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day today. It is absolutely beautiful outside. So I thought that I would uh, shoot this video from uh, the outside for once instead of being on the inside. Enjoy this beautiful sun. Um, today's uh, video is a little different than normal. I'm not trying to teach you anything. I actually want to talk to you about uh, something. So on our Reddit, I put a post asking folks what their favorite aviation books were. And uh, I came up with a top five aviation books. So if you are interested in aviation, if you're a pilot, these are books that uh, everyone thinks that you should own. So uh, if you look in the description down below, I will actually put a link to all these books on Amazon, assuming Amazon has them. Uh, the first one is called uh, The Flying Life, and I'll put again, I'll put a link down, so, down below. Uh, so The Flying Life is uh, Stories for the Aviation Soul. Uh, this is by Lorraine Payne Jr. And um, this is really a collection of short stories. Uh, it's really not teaching you how to fly. It's not teaching you about aviation, but it's giving you some nice stories about aviation. Um, it really, I've, I've read through maybe about half of this book so far. And uh, it is really actually a really kind of nice book to read through. Um, if you're looking for, you know, if you're on a kind of a cloudy day or you can't get out there flying, and you're feeling kind of gloomy, uh, this is a nice book just to, uh, to go ahead and read. And um, it'll make you feel better and it'll make you feel like, you know, you really want to get back up in the air as soon as you possibly can. So nice book uh, by Lorraine Payne. So this is number five. All right, so our s number four book is a book by Dale Remmer, PhD, so smart guy. And uh, Dale has a book called Aircraft Systems for Pilots. Uh, and so when you go through your general aviation training, you learn how to fly for the first time, you get a couple of pages, you might get a chapter on some of the aviation systems that are inside the aircraft, uh, how the electrical bus is connected, how a carburetor works, assuming your airplane has a carburetor, or if it's fuel injected. This book takes that and puts it on steroids. Um, so a highly recommended book if you want to really kind of dig more into how your systems on the aircraft work, uh, which is always really helpful because if you have a problem on the airplane, it's, it's good to know more than just the basics. Very highly recommended book. This is number four. All right, so if you've been in aviation for any amount of time, even if you're not in aviation, you should really know who Charles Lindbergh is. And uh, Charles Lindbergh actually wrote a book um, on the spirit of St. Louis, amazingly uh, titled, uh, named after his uh, aircraft. And um, this actually won a Pulitzer Prize. This is number three. And this real, this is a thick book too. This this will take you a while and it is not like big font. Um, it'll take you a while to read this book. And uh, this really chronicles his career in aviation from the time he was a young kid, just starting to learn how to fly all the way through um, his flights overseas and uh, meeting with all the fans and landing um, in France and all the crowds that rushed him at the airport. Um, so this is really a fascinating book if you wanna learn more about Charles uh, Lindbergh. And uh, yeah, highly recommended. This uh, came in number three from uh, the votes from you folks on. All right, the number two uh, book that you all chose on uh, Reddit is actually a really good, great, I think it's a really great book as well. So I completely agree with all of you on Reddit on this one. And this is a book called Weather Flying. Um, uh, you know, we have so many books in aviation that have to do with flying. But the reason why this book is named the number two book uh, voted on by you folks is that it doesn't talk about you know cumulonimbus clouds like i'm looking up right now we have cumulus clouds they're nice white puffy clouds um they look a little bit of development um you know so as a pilot i can look at that and go okay they're probably going to be a little bit of turbulence up there but they're likely to be really nice they've got nice clear tops on you know maybe a little bit of rounding um but so that tells me that we're gonna probably be pretty smooth once you break through the top of the, the top of the cloud layer. That's a type of information that's in this book. So this book does not teach you about a cumulus cloud. This book assumes you know what a cumulus cloud is. This book tells you what you should know because you know that there's a cumulus cloud or there's a stratus cloud, um, if there's a lenticular cloud. Uh, this tells you what to do with that information. Um, really fascinating. So this, this really takes your basic weather knowledge that you get from general aviation when you're a student pilot and takes you to the next level. So if you are somebody that's interested in aviation, if you're um, a student pilot or if you've been a pilot for 25 years, I really recommend this book if you haven't already read it. Um, 
a lot of information, you know, some of the information as well is going to be talking about, um, you know, if you are getting uh, briefings from a flight service center, uh, how to help, how to take that information and really uh, what to do with it once you're in the airplane. Uh, again, really fantastic book. Highly recommended this one on a personal level as well as uh, you folks on Reddit gave it number two, and that is Weather Flying. All right, and finally, the number one book uh, voted on by uh, Reddit is uh, Stick and Rudder. Uh, I don't think this is going to be a surprise to anybody out there that's been in aviation for more than a, a couple of minutes. Uh, this is a very um, pretty old book, but it is just, I mean, really, just if, if you don't even know about this book, just go buy it. Just uh, go down in the link down below and uh, click on the Stick and Rudder and just buy this book. Uh, you're going to thank yourself. Um, if you've been flying for a lot of years and you don't have this book, what is wrong with you? You really need to get this book. Um, so I would, again, this is well, again, this is a really old book, um, but it, it is so popular that they keep making it new and new and new. So it's really easy to get this book. So um, this book doesn't teach you, you know, it, it's like, you know, when you learn how to fly, you know, you know, that you, have, you know, how to control the stick and the rudder. Um, but this actually tells you why you're controlling that. Um, you know, when you feel the pressure, what are you feeling? And really the art form of flying. Um, you really can't explain some of this stuff. Uh, you know, in general aviation books, they'll tell you what an aileron does. They'll tell you how to, how it generates, how uh, an airfoil generates lift. Um, this just takes us to the next level. It really digs more. It takes, uh, it has the science of it, but it really digs more into the feel of flying. Uh, so anyways, um, I don't think this is a, a surprise by anyone. Number one, uh, stick and rudder. That's it. Just a really quick short video on uh, the top five uh, aviation books that uh, were voted on by you folks. I asked, uh, I put a post on Reddit and said, what's your favorite books? And these were the top five. So uh, thank you to everybody for Reddit for, uh, for doing that. And that's it. We will talk to you real soon. Thanks so much. Bye.